Hi, I'm Natalie, and I'm going to teach you how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Since your parents have been making you lunch all your life, it might also be nice if you make them one too. So first you're going to get two pieces of bread, and then you're going to get some peanut butter, and if you're allergic to peanut butter, you could get alternate like some butter or a version you can eat. You're going to take some peanut butter, you're going to open it up, you're going to take your knife, and you're gonna get some peanut butter out, not too much, about like a, a healthy amount, you know, however much you think you could eat. And you're gonna spread it on one piece of bread. And then you can get a, you get a little bit extra and you put it on the other piece of bread so the jelly doesn't leak through. Then you get your jelly or jam, you open it up, and you take some jelly, not too much, because you don't want too much, because then it might leak or, you know, the sandwich will break, and you're going to put it on one side, in the middle more, and then you spread it around. And then you take your two pieces of bread and you put them together and you have your sandwich. You can then cut it in half if you want to. You put it on a plate and eat and enjoy. Since you've already made your peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and of course one for your parents, now you get to make a snack to go along with it, and we're going to make ants in a log. Um, to make an ants in a log, you need some celery, some peanut butter, and some raisins. First, you're going to take a piece of celery, and you're going to open up your peanut butter. You're going to take a spoon, and you're going to get, get uh, some, a little bit of peanut butter in it, and you're going to spread it along the, in, the piece of celery. Then you're going to get about three raisins, or however many you want, and you're going to set them on the celery. And you're going to repeat that with the rest of them. 